let's see. Uh, PSX works. Yes, PSX does work. I mean, arguably. We might... Th the game might not work with the emulator. That's a possibility, but it's a lot more likely to work than you know, random PC games. So I'll certainly try that. In which case, uh, name a letter of the alphabet. N. Righty dokey. So now I would like you to pick a number between 1 and 235. Yes, really. 235. Okay, the very last one in the list. Interesting. Let's see how that turns out. Oh, I get it. Okay, yeah, I know what this is. All right. Let's see if we can get that to work. It's a fun fact, actually, while we're talking about sprites. Whenever I've used a sprite from Onikon in one of my title cards, I've had to draw that sprite myself. Because when I've, I've taken screenshots from the game, they, the colours are all kind of weird. It's hard to explain, really. Even without the TV filter on, and obviously there's the background, which I can't easily separate. So I, I have to look at a screenshot of the sprite and then redraw it in paint. It's easier than you'd think doing that, but it's also massively time-consuming. Particularly the... The Mission Force sub-boss, the guy with the ponytail and the big scimitar, I think his name is Hay. That one took fucking hours to redraw because he's much bigger than Zaku is. Oh, balls. Now, hang on a minute, it should be a bin, right? I've got a bin. Haven't I got a bin? Apparently I don't have a bin. That's a bin, though. You're a bin! Oh, you're bin.ecm. Oh, shit, you need to do some bullshit with it. Oh, damn it. I don't think this is going to work, you know. I've just, I have a horrible feeling that this is not going to work out. Oh! Oh, wait a minute. I know what I'm doing. I'm using the wrong fucking emulator. Oh, dear. No, it doesn't like that. It does not like that one bit. So, yeah, we might have to change tack here and not use the PS, uh, the PSX. Because I'm stupid. See, all this, I used to do all this stuff ages ago, so I just don't remember what the process is. It does not like the, the raw file as it is. It just won't even open it. Alright, fuck it. Ree, could you, could you pick a different console? Because nobody wants me to be dicking around with this for the next hour. <laughs> I'm sorry that, that that had to happen, but I have to draw the line somewhere. Advanced Wars, Advanced Campaign. No! No, 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 no. Bluey, you choose. Alright, Bluey. Says GameCube. Good. <laughs> pick a letter, please. I'll try to fuck around less. With this one, that would be fine. That will be good. K, alright. Can't be that many games beginning with K. There are 22. That's not very many at all. Uh, so yeah, a number from 1 to 22 if you could. 16, okay. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the one above it. For a, for a very good reason. Because number 16 is Mahjong. A, it's in Japanese. And B, Mahjong's kind of fucking boring, as I recall. So we're going to do the thing that's right above that, which could be more entertaining for everyone involved. Oh my god, that's a big fucking file. <laughs> that's, that's like a gig, Jesus Christ. That one could take a while. So while we wait for that, I'm going to play something else just while we wait. Because that's, uh, that's quite a large file. The PSX game was uh, was Nuclear Strike, which I believe is very similar to Desert Strike and Jungle Strike with the helicoptering and such. While we wait, Malice is going to play an NES classic that he really likes. So we are going to play... Batman. I know I've played it a couple of times in video before and never got tremendously far. But it's a good game, so what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. Batman. There we are, there he is. Implying your brain isn't goo already. Too shy. Too shy. Alright, I'll just keep the uh, the download window open so we know what we're what we're looking at on that. It's gonna be a while. Let's just say that much for now. Bitmin. So Well blimey, wait a minute. Let's just fix that for one sec. Let's put it in PAL. There we go. So, uh, NES Batman's a really fucking great game. It's a great, uh, sort of, standard, platformy, punch people kind of deal. It's got some really nice sprite work, the music's amazing, and it's hard as balls. And these are things we like. These are things that are fun. 
to play around with. Bunch Ghostbusters in the dick. You also have a weaponry. And but for some reason, the select button pauses the game and the start button switches weapons. So you've got the boomerang, fairly traditional Batman fare there. You've got a gun which shoots missiles for reasons. Yeah, that guy just sneaks up on you for like a dick. And you have a shuriken which kind of splits into three, I believe. Whoosh, like that. Most of the time you're okay punching things or using the, the batarang because each one uses more um, energy than the last. So the, the batarang uses one per shot, that uses two, and that uses three. And you get more by picking up the little missile power-up icon. That one. But yeah, this is a really hard fucking game. So just be aware that I will probably die many times before the end of this. Oh shit. Also, the jumping is kind of weird but good. It's, it's a little bit stiff, there's a delay on it, and once you've started jumping you can't change direction, you can only slow it down. But that's kind of part of the, the goodness of it, I find. Because it means you actually have to be good at games. Which I am, as we know. As we discovered from my awesome ghost finding escapades in Paper Mario. Awesome stuff. Punching dudes in the nuts. Jumping on the heads. I think I'm Mario, but I am not. It's a shame. Blark! You also have a wall jump, uh, thusly. Which you. Which I think that's part of why the jumping really works for me, because you've got so much control over the wall jump. As long as you're touching the wall when you press jump again, it'll do it. So you can. You can sort of time it out on your own and get some very, very different jump uh, distances and heights out of it. Which the game requires you to do later on. Hoopa garb. And that's how we know. Oh, what do we must do? I don't know what those little things are supposed to be, if I'm perfectly honest with you. They look peculiar. I cannot work it out for the life of me. Yeah, also my instinct to press select to switch weapons, obviously. Because that's what a sensible game would do. But it's okay, I forgive this game because I really like it. I also own this game on cartridge, which uh, in fact I'm quite proud of. Not that it's particularly rare or anything, I just I like to own the original games where possible. Also, apparently they had jetpacks in Gotham City. It's not something I knew. Maybe you did. Also bullets. Also, I am getting my ass roundly handed to me by this guy. And when you die, you burst into flames. So that's a thing to think about. Whenever Batman explodes, I mean, fire. I think I jumped too quickly to exploding there. Whoop! Jump the guy! Oh god, I'm so bad at this. I'm bad at this. It's totally fine. I don't need to be good. I just need to be... Vaguely competent. Of course, I can't even manage that most of the fucking time. And yes, they do look a lot like the Death Roombas from Mega Man, without quite such cartoony eyes. Firefly is often seen with a jetpack. Is Firefly a Batman villain? Because I'm going to be honest, I'm not as well versed in Batman lore as Jay probably is. Also, hi Jay! Welcome to the stream. Good to see you, bud. It's always a good time with Jay. <laughs> Bladoosh. There you go. See, now I know how to game. Now I know how to Batman. Oh, no! I spawned him too early. <laughs> Shit, dicks. It's fine. I can manage. I will live. And you will die. You shit. Yeah, the Batarang is the way to go with the jetpack dudes. Now, fairly well, Rai. Re You're going to have to tell me how to pronounce your name because I genuinely don't know. But thank you for coming to the mail stream. I hope you had a pleasant time, and I hope you'll consider checking out my Patreon, <laughs> even if it's just to have a look. But yeah, every every small amount can make a huge amount of difference. So uh, if you can spare it, please support the show in any way you can. Okay, Batman time is here again. I am the knight. I am the knight. 
I'm the Dark Knight, that seems redundant to me. Is that guy- that, that, that ninja was having a cheeky cigarette right there. Who would have thought that ninjas would be up to such nonsense? Such bad behaviour. Ill behaviour. Garfield Linz, not sure of spelling. He flies and uses fire, hence I suppose the imaginative name of Firefly. Touché. Well, if we're, I mean, if we're talking about originality and names from comic book characters, we're probably going to be disappointing ourselves <laughs> quite a lot. Um, here's our first boss. This might actually be Firefly. I mean, look at him. Certainly, I hadn't been able to figure out what else he was meant to be other than an asshole. Uh, his weakness is Batarangs, mainly. And my weakness is Incompetent Failure. But yeah, you can catch him midway through his swoop and then uh, hit him with, uh, with Batarangs and knock him back. And he dies because you hit him multiple times. Done. <laughs> Ooh, that garb. So his car has guns in it. This really is not the Batman I knew and loved, because he's shooting up the place. Quite a lot. He is super pissed. Punching of the third kind. The other two sucked. They sucked. You do not want to be on the receiving end of his punch power. He'll hit you right in the goddamn crotch now. Your balls will explode. So, uh, this, uh, this levels are considerably more dangerous than the previous one, with, with the dripping slime and all, and the platforming that is required to survive. You can shortcut your way through this part if you're good at games. Because if you jump just right, you can get the wall jump off one of these platforms and then skip ahead. Thusly. Because Malice is good at everything that he does. I keep accidentally pausing it because I'm trying to switch weapons. It's not my fault they got the controls ass backwards, is it? Oh my god. Holy shit. So yeah, Batarangs kind of are your bread and butter. It's either punch dudes or throw boomerangs at them. In true Zelda style. Unfortunately, you cannot collect things with them. Now there's a part coming up where I'm reasonably sure you kind of have to get, it, get hit. It's right here. So, the intent, as far as I can tell, is that you drop down and wall jump off the edge of this to go over to the other side. But I don't feel like you can quite get far enough to actually do that without falling in the goo. Hit! Yeah, maybe if I'd done it from the top one. I don't know. Also, walking right into that pit really was just embarrassing and no one should remember that they saw it. Don't trust your eyes because they will lie to you. Oh, oh my god. So each level is divided into three or four subsections. Relatively short ones. Fortunately, they're not difficult. Not yet. This game really hits the, like, shit hits the fan with this around like level three. Also, second shortcut right there. It's, like, it's the exact same trick, you just wall jump to skip ahead. Mm, thusly. Oh, you are just begging to have boomerangs thrown at you. Boop. Hearts of health, if that wasn't already obvious. I mean, it seems pretty obvious. And the little B is, uh, is points. And we all know how valuable those are! Actually, they might give you extra lives in this game, so it might be useful after all. I honestly don't remember. Okay, so here's a part where lots of wall jumping is necessary. Wall jumps. You need to time them out right to make sure you hit the, the platforms and not the electric majiggers. So you, have, you sort of have to wait on some of them to make sure you don't go flying into electric majiggery. Majiggery, pokery, it's the worst kind. It'll electrify your balls. Because that's where it'll be aimed now. So you can see what I mean. You have to sort of aim your wall jumps. Also, this, this guy can just die. That's what he can do. Implosions are imminent for you. Yeah, luckily the storm hasn't done anything to my end yet. Hopefully it's just gonna stop. Yeah, there's another little trick with the wall jump there to make sure you don't get knocked back by the little Roomba. He will make you sad. He will make you angry too. Oh no. Impeding my progress all the damn time. Yeah, this one also seems like uh, it might be you have to be hit. Because if you jump from the top block, you hit the, the roof electrics. And if you jump from the bottom block, I don't think you go far enough. Yeah, that's exactly right. Oh, cheap shot game. 
Temporary invincibility time wore off too soon, and I am very sad. I'm also dying. Speaking of dying, that guy. Sneaky, grabbing health power ups. Okay, so this is the third segment of the second stage. It's pretty tricky, and then boss time. And then shit gets real in stage three. Like, this game's not actually that hard uh, in stages one and two. It's stages stage three and onward, the things just get ridiculous. This is not an easy video game. I don't know if any of you had ever played it and knew that. But if you have, you will know that. Because I've just told you. I am going to die also. Yeah, at least the game is consistent about that. We have about 17 minutes left on the download, by the way. Just, uh, just a quick update for you. So, uh, this thing will drop those bombs infinitely. I think you can kill it. But I think it takes an absolute shit ton of hits to succeed at doing that. So, let's just see. How many missiles will it take now? Probably so many that you cannot use them all to your whole advantage. I'm pretty sure you can kill it anyway. Oh yeah, no, you need to know. You absolutely need to know. Ugh, oh, this is tedium and extreme! Yes, there, okay, you can kill it. And I feel like you need to, for this part at least. Because hot damn. Ah, oh, fuck. It says Batman to let you know that you're using your punches and not uh, another weapon, I suppose. Definitely no glide mechanic to get over those areas. Nope, no such, th no such luck, I'm afraid. Remember, this is an NES game, so it's reasonably simple. Like, the fact that it's got a wall jump is probably as sophisticated as it's gonna get. Bit of a shame. Yes, I know this. Oh, well. But yeah, um, the reason this game has amazing music is because it's a Sunsoft game. And, uh, fun fact, Sunsoft game music is always amazing. Like, they might not have got everything else right, although in this game they really did, because it's great. Uh, but their music is always kick-ass. Journey to Silius is a really good example of that, in fact. And um, if you were wondering, it's one of the, the tracks I use in my Onikin videos is, in fact, from Journey to Silius. The, the track used in the intro. Okay, so um, here's a fun thing. That kind of corridor of buzzsaws down there, the only way to get down that is to fall, not jump. Because if you jump, then you're stuck moving forward as you go down. Whereas if you just fall, you've got full control over your descent. So you walk off and then fall down the middle. If you jump, you'll hit the ones on the right. Also, don't fall down there, because it means death. I'm reasonably certain that that is what will happen to you. Then run down here and probably get shot a whole bunch. I mean, they've got guns, but they don't have the sense not to shoot crouching, so... I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I do. The boss is coming up. That's what I'm going to tell you. Oh boy, that looks intimidating, doesn't it? Can I even go up there? No, I can't. I actually have to go to the... Wait a minute. Did I fuck up? Was I meant to go down here? Hang on. Let me just backtrack for a sec. Enemies respawn. This seems totally fair. Yes, I have played Batman and Robin on the, on the Mega Drive. It's as hard as balls. Couldn't get very far with it, because it's hard as balls. Yeah, okay, now I'm puzzled. Because I have played this a thousand times, but I'm sure that this was not how the level's meant to go. Hang on. Hang on. Maybe I have miscalculated slightly. Maybe if I go back up there. I th yeah, because you need to get down to the bottom. Yeah, there we go. I'm just being an idiot. Walk off there as well, same reason as before. There we are. Now we can make progress again. Uh, so I'm reasonably sure you can't make that jump. You have to wall jump off the side of this conveyor belt, which is iffy. Like that. See, I, I, I kind of know what I'm doing with this. Just not amazingly good at it. As you have seen, as the evidence has suggested. It's a hard fucking game. <laughs> I know I've said this already several times, but uh, I really wanted to stress that point. Woo! Okay, ready for a boss? Here is the boss. It's a really hard fucking boss! It's kind of in stages, so you've got these two little ball turrets first. 
you need to get on this conveyor belt and then just duck whenever the bottom one shoots. The top one will miss you, fortunately. But yeah, it's a multi-phase boss, this one. You need to destroy these little cannons first. We can do this, or we're the fist now. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, that was just silly, wasn't it? They fire twice each on a sequence. But the bottom one is now dead. So now we can take our time a bit more. Jump and punch and jump and punch and jump. Jump and punching. It's my jam now. Also now is the second phase of the bullshit. So the hard way to do this is to jump up there, jump up there, and then kind of run across and punch that blue light. The easy way is to use the missile power up and just shoot it from a distance. Bloop! You just need to make sure you're not jumping when the first laser is firing, because you'll hit it. And that's bad. I know it doesn't look very hard yet, but trust me, this isn't the hard bit. Hard bit is still to come now. Oh my fucking gourd. Also, your guess is as good as mine as trying to work out what this fucking boss is. Some kind of infernal machine, evidently. Right, so now this is the main part of the boss. It's that blue light on the right there. And, um... I genuinely don't have a good method for beating it, because whenever I jump up there to attack, it closes itself off into a turret and shoots you. It seems damn near impossible to dodge the bullets. I think you would have to be standing over here, and then you've got the lasers to fucking contend with. It's just an absolute fuster clock, and I kind of hate it. Yeah, you see, I'm just getting my ass handed to me right here. Perhaps the sensible thing to do is wait for it to shoot and then jump and shoot and... What? Hang on. I've got a plan. Here's my plan. Wait for the turret. Jump ahead of time and throw. No, nope, that didn't work. See, the minute you get up to the same level as it, it closes off again and it's an absolute dick. Can you triple shot it from the start position? <sighs> Maybe. We have to do this section of level again first though. At the very least, when you game over, it lets you start from the section of level you got to, rather than the very beginning of level 2. Can you just out-DPS it? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> you cannot do that. That is not a thing you can do. Ah! Also, here's another thing you can't do. Outrun that fucking claw bomb. Oh no. What you can do, though, if you, stay, if you crouch next to where those bombs land, you can infinitely destroy them for infinite power-ups. So that's kind of fun. It's not massively helpful, but it's fun. Oh god. I'm just not dealing with that asshole. He's an asshole, yes indeed he. It doesn't replenish your weapon energy though. Which is slightly unfortunate. Oh dear. Well, I fucked that up, didn't I? I'm bad at things that I attempt to do. Oh no. So that bit with the, the conveyor belts and the guys with guns down there, that's the way you go if you drop down there. You don't have to. It's an optional route. And in fact, this route's probably better. Because it's a little safer! Keep away, Roomba. I've got no interest in your shenanabolics. Not today and not any day. Because... Just go ahead. Mm, fuck you. Alright, well, I'll demonstrate what I mean about this. You can just crouch here and infinitely punch and just get into the power-ups. So I might use it to get some more weapon energy, if nothing else. Exciting gameplay! Watch as Malice hammers the B button and gets hit by the stationary fucking target. Oh my shit. Alright, that'll do it. I don't want to risk any more of my health bar, to be perfectly honest. Ten minutes remaining. On the... On the main event there. Oh god. Fuck you, and fuck you. And I know these guys are coming. Fuck you, and fuck you. I solve all my problems with my mighty fists. They're made of steel. No, really, they are. I had a nasty accident some years ago. Okay. Oh, did you mean these turrets for the triple shot from the start position? You probably could. But you'd waste a lot of weapon energy doing it, and I think you need that for the later phases. So... Yes and no, I suppose, is the answer to your question. These turrets are completely unfair. Just wait now. Hmm. 
see if I can preserve some energy here as well. Let's try and do this the hard way. And of course, you can't hit this one from the ground. You do need to jump punch. Because the game is not a great fan of, uh, of doing things that benefit you. But yeah, that's... Uh, whoop! Okay. Maybe you are meant to stay here and fight it? Although not getting hit by the lasers would help an awful lot with that plan. Oh, do you see what I mean about it closing up when you attack? It's very annoying. Because it feels like you could never actually hit it. He says, immediately getting a hit on it. This is to totally fine now. Fuck balls! So hard. Urgh, I know I have beaten this before. But it was a long ass time ago. Not the game, mind you. This boss, <laughs> in particular. Because I have made it to stage 3, and indeed I've made it to stage 4 before now. But I couldn't beat the boss of that because hot damn. As I recall, it was goddamn near impossible to defeat him in any time frame. I don't think you can punch the ceiling things. I think, yeah, no, you can't, you can't get a bead on them. They're too high up for your punches to reach. Which is a bit of a pisser, I know. Alright. Let's try my old method. Because I know I feel like this is how I used to do it. You sort of do the, the little jump combo from down there. You gotta do it at the right time to make sure you get the hit. Fucking Jesus Christ, I hate this boss. Alright, hang on. Yeah, no, that didn't work. Oh I, I did such bullshit. You see what I'm saying, right? About it closing up whenever you attack? It's like it's deliberately designed for you not to be able to hit it the vast majority of the time. Alright, let's try a new plan. Ah! I think I need to shoot just before I jump the bullets. Oh my god, this is such acetry! Such acetry. Growing asses all on trees now. That's how you make them. Ah! The first boss was supposed to be kill a moth. Alright. I don't know who that is. And this boss is the machine intelligence system. Well, I don't know what that is either. Other than total bullshit. Because <laughs> I just can't seem to figure out how you're supposed to hit the bitch now. Oh, I'm so bad at everything I try and do. It is disappointing, it is fucking embarrassing. To who watch me fail over and over and over and over again. Oop that garble and then go over that hoople. Yeah. Try the triple from start platform, might spread out and hit it. The trouble is, every time you fuck. Every time you attack in any way, it seems like it just closes up and says nope. Also, I don't have enough energy left to even use that one. I've got one missile shot left, and that's it. Cause I wasted so much of my fucking weapon and energy. There we go. Son of a bitch. I wish I'd thought of that earlier. Well, now we're screwed because I do not believe that I can hit the bitch at all now. Or maybe I can? Hang on a minute. Did it only close up when I was using my special weapons, and if I just punch, I'll be fine? Yeah, because I had a feeling this was the pattern. Sort of wall jumping off this bit and then the conveyor belt and punch. There we go. Well, note to self, when all else fails, punch. And then the Joker shoots you. And you end up in the sewers. Welcome to the hardest fucking level. Difficulty curve takes a massive up with spike. Right now. Oh! Fuck my life because of these guys. These guys will just destroy you. They're damn near impossible to kill without getting completely ruined by. Because they always jump on you. And avoiding them is fucking... It's a chore. Normally I like to have weapons still available at this point to use those. But I don't. So we'll have to do this the old fashioned way. I don't even know what these are. 
supposed to be. Pain in the arse, that's what they are. There's one coming up in this next bit. That's just ridiculous. I think, he, yeah, he's he's up there. Or maybe it's the next one. Yeah, those, those fans also, they damage you. And so, getting a good position to punch these guys from is non-existent. Normally you'd want your weapons for that. Okay, so yeah, it's right here. There's one of those things right off screen, and he just... He, this is not a good place to fight them. I do have some weapons now, though. You want to just get him on the screen. Well, maybe it's not quite here. It's definitely around here. Yep, yeah, there he is. So if, you, if he jumps out at you here, you die. Because you have this tiny platform to stand on. And with the way they behave, you need room to move. And otherwise you'll just die. So what you have to do is you have to get him on screen like that, but not near enough to make him jump at you. And then you use missiles to kill him. It's complete bullshit. <laughs> and I absolutely hate it. Because you've got to get the timing right, otherwise you miss. And if you run out of missiles, you are Dunyan Rings. Alright, got him. And I don't think that's the only time there's one like that in this level. I think there's one right down here as well with a similar problem. Yep, there he is. Yeah, and the problem here is you've got that little Roomba dude to contend with as well. And the fans, which kill you. Ugh! It's so hard. So yeah, the Batarangs use one, the missiles use two, and the Shuriken uses three. Ugh. So now, we gotta do this shit again. From the start again. And no weapons are available for you to use. So the trick to dealing with them on normal ground, at least, is to stand just a little away from them. Because they jump to where you are. So you need to give yourself that little bit of leeway to walk under them, you see. So if I go like that, and then like that, and you can get punches in occasionally when you do that. It's still not easy, because if you mess it up even slightly, they just land on you and fucking damage you. But you can't have everything, or indeed anything. In most cases, it's totally unfair. You know that it isn't, you know that you want to kill yourself. Really soon. Really fast. There we go. It is one of, one of my goals to beat this game eventually, but uh, I don't think that today is going to be the occasion where I manage that. Okay. So all we have is a handful of missiles left. Blah. I mean, they're clearly missiles. So I don't know what spear gun they're meant to be. Yeah, you kind of have to jump when he does to make sure you hit him with that. Okay. Almost back where we were before. I need to jump from further back, I think. Nope, didn't work. Oh god, now I'm dead. Or I could just, you know, despawn him. Can't believe I never thought of that. Now, this might be another one of those tricky ones where it looks like you can just jump it, but you can't. You have to wall jump off the block, and I fucked it! Oh no! Oh, stupid jump! Oh god, I am going to be so dead by the end of this. Yep. Yeah, you definitely need to wall jump off the block there. Otherwise you fall on the fan and die! And dying is no fun. Not for me. And not for you either. Oh god, why is this happening so frequently? It is pushing me over, over the edge now. I'm gonna be murdering you soon. If you don't see that now, then you will very soon. Rhyming. Oh shit! That was the download completing. So next game over, I'll just I'll just stop this. Okay, interrupted there. Yeah, pretty much. Tell me no. Oh fuck! Not just the wall jump, just mastery of the game in general. 
Like I said, level 3 is where shit just gets real, really fucking quickly out of nowhere. This is not an easy game. This is not a game that you just fucking beat in an afternoon, like Mario 3 or something. You'd be lucky to finish that in a single afternoon, though, admittedly. Hit! I've probably got just enough missiles to handle this guy. I'm calling them missiles, I don't care what the game calls them. They are clearly missiles, and they clearly have a little trail. Blah. Okay. So I've got three hits, that's not terrible. The one good thing about this game that I can tell is that nothing does more than one blip of your health bar at once. It's just obviously some enemies just fucking ruin you by hitting you repeatedly in the dick. Like this guy. My dick would prefer not to be pounded into dirt, into paste, into pate, into nothing. Oh, you can just jump back. This one you definitely, definitely 103% need to ball jump off the block. Like that. Otherwise you will miss and you will die. Ah, oh, that's a dick placement. Alright, this is probably my last life, so let's do it. This time, we will be victorious. I don't remember Talamino, to be honest. I think, I think you have an unlimited amount, but I don't, I can't confirm that. I wouldn't be able to say 100% either way. Certainly, it's hard enough that it would be completely justified to have infinite continues. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you! I hate that guy. He is a captain of all the goddamn assholes. Ah, God! Why am I doing this to myself? I don't even know. Maybe. Oh, fuck you! I pressed jump. Oh, the salt is happening. Salt mode activated. Salt mode. Okay. The salt has gone on long enough for me. I do not require saltier than this. I generate my own. It's fueled by my pure unadulterated rage. There is always more where that came from. I will be forced to kill you all. If this continues... Oh, these guys are such assholes. <laughs> like, of all, of all game enemies, these ones have got right up there as some of the most annoying I've ever come across. In anything ever... It's totally fine, you know. Yeah, you can do. So, what might be an idea here is to actually kill that dispenser before I go over there. Because it seems damn near impossible to avoid it hitting you. Also, the missiles kind of wibble on their trajectory, so you need to get this at the absolute peak of your jump to hit it. Otherwise, you waste it. Oh, come on now! Stuff take a tree. I cannot believe I'm seeing such nonsense come out of what seems to be a simple NES game. Holy balls, my god. Well, that didn't work at all. So yeah, now I might be boned. That's a thing that might have happened while you weren't watching. Fuck it! Just go! And that was only stage 3-1. Welcome to stage 3-2, where shit gets even more real than it was before. As if you could believe that. I genuinely don't remember if those jumpy guys are in this section or not. I feel like no. I hope no. Because if they are, I might as well quit right now. My god. I don't... I, okay. Full disclosure, I genuinely don't remember this part of the game at all. I'm going to land on that fan. Yeah, I am. Oh, dicks. dick -a tree deployed. Hatred is unleashed. I didn't even go the right damn way. Fuck. I went that way for nothing at all. What a waste of time. Oh, that's a dick move. How the hell was I supposed to know that was coming? Also, there's another one of the jumpy assholes. So that's great. And I'm gonna die. 
there it goes. So that's NES Batman. It's the hardest fucking game ever. And uh, we're done with it for now. Fortunately for my sanity.